Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, thank you for checking out my video. Uh, this video is, is going to be another video about sun gazing and I'm going to uh, explain a little bit about uh, how it works and some of the possibilities with it. And uh, something I haven't said before in my other sun gazing videos uh, that I'd like to say now is uh, like if you if you decide to to try sun gazing or if you uh, if you if you watch my videos, uh, please uh, really think about what you're doing uh, and be careful and uh, know that, know that uh, what works for one person may not work for everyone and uh, really be careful and educate yourself about what you do before you try anything and uh, in saying that uh, let's let's get started let me uh, show you something uh, now in this video uh, I'd like to first start the video by uh, giving you a little bit of uh, background information uh, so that you can follow uh, the information that I, I talk about uh, better. Uh, to give you more context, uh, I guess some good uh, sources or, or books to read to understand this is a book by Robert Becker. Uh, it's called The Body Electric and it, it talks about or explains how the human body and also other, other, the bodies of other animals are uh, electric semiconductors and uh, it goes into a really good detail about it and it explains it and uh, makes the concept more real and uh, the book is not that difficult to read I, I uh, it, it was pretty it's not that e not that difficult to follow so it's a, a book that I recommend I'll drop a link below if you'd like to uh, check that book out and uh, another book that uh, I think is a good reference is uh, this book that I'm showing you right now. The name of it is uh, Light, Shape, and Life. And uh, it basically talks about how uh, light works in, uh, in creatures and humans and uh, different uh, organisms. And uh, in this book, uh, it talks a little bit about uh, regeneration. If you can see the title of, of this here, uh, this, this, this section or this unit, uh, talks about regeneration and it briefly talks about some of uh, Robert Becker's work with uh, regeneration and uh, the body being uh, an electric semiconductor and uh, in in Robert uh, Becker's book uh, he talks about uh, experiments with uh, different animals uh, especially lizards because they have a uh, very good uh, regenerative abilities so I guess they use that to, uh, to study and uh, sorry about uh, presenting or showing you uh, animal uh, experimentation. I'm against that, but it was part of the book, so uh, that's what I'm showing you. So, uh, in uh, this is all I have to say about this, and now I'll give you my thoughts about uh, sun gazing and how it ties into energizing the human body and how it retires into regeneration in the human body, specifically regeneration in our brains. Uh, thank you so much. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, how y'all doing out there? Uh, I'm outside, it's solar noon. It's like uh, January 11th, uh, 2018. And I'm in cold cold Korea but still a beautiful place and right now it's it's about negative 9 degrees Celsius or like 15 degrees Fahrenheit right now but that doesn't stop me from getting all of this divine energy and information because in the bigger picture the bigger scheme of things I think that's more important all right, uh, so I've already given you like a little bit of background information for what I'm about to talk about uh, in this video. And uh, the things that I'll cover in this video are related to sun gazing. Well, they're all about sun gazing. But the focus of this video will be how sun gazing energizes the entire body through our nervous system and also how sun gazing can repair 
uh, places in our body that is very dense in nervous system. And uh, for human beings, that's the brain, the heart, and the nervous system. But I'm going to focus mostly on the brain. Okay, so I did a I did a previous video, and the name of it was Eyeball Energetics, and it basically talked about like uh, the energy dynamics of the eyeball. It talked about like different uh, components of the eye and how they pull in energy to our bodies. Like you know, the eyes are like a light trapping machine it pulls in huge amounts of light and it supplies our bodies with a uh, lot of our our energy and information that we get from our environments especially uh, sunlight okay so uh, I'll get right to it after the eye, after the sunlight goes through our eye and interacts with the different components, different parts of our eyes uh, that allows us to utilize this light. It, it sends the light throughout you know, our brains and all throughout our bodies, throughout our, our, all our nervous system. And if you remember what I just showed you uh, previously, uh, the human body is a electric semiconductor. You know, there's uh, three well-known types of uh, types of electric uh, conductors. Uh, one's metallic, one's ionic, and one's a uh, semiconductor. And uh, unlike ionic and metallic, a semiconductor works better under cold conditions cold conditions actually helps it conduct current better and it just it, it just works far better under those conditions uh, I guess you could think you could think of it as like a battery and uh, if you're if you're my age uh, when I was a kid when when I play my video games and the game starts to get slow and, and stop stops working I would take my batteries out and put them in the refrigerator and that would uh, get some of the charge back well we, we have some of these same qualities. Uh, the human body is an electric uh, semiconductor. And we can recharge using the cold, which is, you know, <laughs> one reason why I'm out freezing right now and uh, recharging my body, because I understand that concept. But uh, when we sun gaze, also with uh, electric semiconduction, uh, light, specifically sunlight, raises the energy of an electric uh, semiconducting, uh, an electric semiconducting system. So, when we sun gaze, we huge amounts of light uh, is received into our eyes, and the eyes are the start of our nervous system, and a uh, huge amount of our nervous system is in the optic nerve. Optic nerve is a very, it's a huge, uh, a huge uh, electric uh, conducting pathway. It's probably the biggest, most important electric conducting pathway throughout our bodies. And it's the beginning of all of our nervous system throughout our bodies. So it goes from our eyes, uh, the light is transformed into electricity and it, it electrifies the body. This is uh, kind of one way of how sun gazing uh, electrifies us because it goes through the eye. The light is transformed uh, through through the, the optic nerve. Optic nerve is the major uh, the major and the first and foremost uh, energy pathway that uh, starts this process and energizes the body. And I just showed you before. Uh, Dr. Robert Becker's uh, book, well, the information from Do Dr. Robert Becker's book uh, called The Electric Body, where he uh, he learned that the human body is an electro uh, electromagnetic semiconductor, 
and it uh, it kind of follows those those rules. And uh, from the book, I showed you like some of his work. He uh, looked at uh, like uh, animals, like reptile animals that have uh, the ability to regenerate. It can like a lizard. It can grow its tail when it gets cut off. It can grow like new legs and new limbs. That's because they have a very complex nervous system through, throughout their bodies. So they can grow these things back. You, you know, under usually they can grow these things back if it's not too damaged. That's because they have a, a very complex nervous system throughout their bodies. However, if we scale it to humans, human beings don't have as complex of a nervous system throughout throughout our bodies. We have the majority of our uh, complexity of our nervous system in our brains, our hearts, and our immune system, especially our brain. The brain is full of uh, neurons and full of uh, nerves. So, that's likely where the majority of our regeneration takes place in our brains because it has a huge supply of uh, it, it, a huge electrical system. So regeneration there is likely very, very uh, possible. And keeping in mind with what I just mentioned about uh, you being able to, to regenerate uh, regenerate if you have a, an advanced nervous system uh, you could use uh, sun gazing which the light from the sun raises the uh, electricity of a semiconducting system and from Robert Becker's work in the book the body electric he learned that what regenerates the uh, lizard's uh, tail, its, its legs, when they get cut off, are DC current, direct current. And in order to uh, in order to uh, use DC current, you need you need uh, uh, an advanced nervous system, which our brain has. And uh, where can we get the DC current from? We get the DC current through the sunlight like the sunlight raises the energy of the electrical system or, or the nerves so in knowing that I think is a very very good assumption or assumption to believe that through sun gazing and getting lots of light through your eye you can you can regenerate your your neurons in, in your brain because it's so it's so complex. There's so many neurons. That's where we have the most of our, our neuron neuronal complexity in our brains. And uh, in knowing that, I think it's a very safe assumption to believe that we can build our nervous system through sun through sun gazing or uh, build build our brain neurons. And repair our brain neurons if we've uh, we've had any type of uh, trauma or, or damage to, to our brains. And it doesn't just stop at our brains. Like we have nervous system throughout our entire bodies, so it benefits the whole system. But I'm right now I'm focusing on just the brain because of what I just mentioned about the the, the lizards and the and the and the complexity of their nervous system and I scaled it to us we have the complexity of our nervous system uh, in our brains all right and here's my own like uh, personal uh, experience with this all right uh, I myself I was a I was a fighter I was a, a boxer for about a decade and uh, I did this as an amateur for most of that time and I did a couple years as a professional and throughout this this career you know I loved it I had lots of fun with it those those were good times but uh, 
you know, it's a dangerous sport. And uh, throughout throughout this decade, uh, I suffered uh, two two major concussions, and uh, probably a few more, but I know two major con concussions. And uh, toward the end of my career, which I I stopped about seven years ago, uh, I, the the damage became apparent to me. Like I, I began to 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 really realize it and like the thing about like uh, brain damage or like things that affect your your mental capacity you are the last person to know about it or the last person to realize it like everybody else sees it everybody else knows it but you don't like everybody uh, sees the changes in you way before you see the changes and when I say changes, I mean like uh, your speech patterns, your movement patterns, uh, your thought process. And uh, toward the end of my career, when I when I quit the sport, I began to to like see like all the damage that had been done, which uh, you know it, it began to affect my life and different aspects of my life. Uh, my personality and you know like a little bit of depression things like this so it put me on a journey to really like learn about how things work and r repair myself and you know just see the bigger picture of, of things see the bigger picture of, of life and that led me that led me on a path to just learn as much as I could about this stuff. And uh, fast forward to later, a few years later, after uh, I retired, after I quit uh, doing the sport, I began to, I lived a regular life, a regular job, and, you know, things were just, you know, kind of, kind of dull and, you know, I had trouble, like, just doing, like, simple things. And I did lots of research, and it led me to sun gazing. And uh, I got like lots of good results from sun gazing, as far as building my mental capacity, and uh, I guess improving myself and fixing myself. And like I got like a lot of benefits, and like. I think now I can do a lot of things a lot better than I could do a, a, a few years back. It, it, it really, really helped me out a lot, which makes me believe what I believe about it being able to regenerate our nervous system, especially uh, uh, the, the mental uh, aspects of it, because you know our brain carries the uh, highest uh, capacity of of our, our nervous system and uh, it, it gets the highest amount of currents and you know I, I think that uh, sun gazing was a major uh, part of it and it, it has put me on a track to like really learn how all of this stuff works and it has led me to look into other aspects of nature because it doesn't just stop uh, with with the sun the sun is just uh, just one component of it, but it's a major component of it. And you know, I've I've, I've learned a lot, and it's been really it's, it's been really amazing, and it's put me on a on a uh, on a really good track to explore this even more. All right, so I'll uh, stop right here with the video. I hope that you, you you took something from it and hopefully you share your experiences with me about this topic if if you have something to add because I, I would really love to know I would really love for like your, your insight to I, I want to like get your insight so that it can trigger new thoughts and new ideas so that I can really uh, you know keep exploring this because uh, like I see 
I don't really see any limits into in, in stopping and finding out more and just taking this further. So I'll stop the video here. Uh, thank you for checking me out. Please like, subscribe, comment. I love you. Love yourself. And thank you for sharing your world with me. And let's stay connected. There's a lot more coming in the future. I'll explore many more, many more topics. Well, especially the topics that I've already explored. I'll, I'll keep adding to those and taking them further. So, I hope to see you in the future. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. And hopefully I see you next time. I love you. Bye.